In Chapter 5 of Black Myth Wukong, there is a secret area I've barely seen anyone talk about, which is home to a couple of hidden bosses who reward you some amazing loot, an amazing weapon and some incredible armour. How's it going guys, my name is DPJ and I'm giving a copy away of Black Myth Wukong on a weekly basis. To win it's as simple as dropping a like on this video, leaving a comment down below and making sure you are subbed. I will pick one winner on a weekly basis from the comment section of one of my videos, so the more you are active, the more of a chance you have of winning and announce them at the end of the week. So good luck everybody. Okay, so let's first check out the loot rewards you get for progressing this questline and the secret area's bosses. So you get the basket of fire and water, the flame orb, the Bishua beast staff, which is an incredible weapon. You get plenty of celestial ribbons, which are used in crafting some of the best armor in the game. You get four times of the bull king's iron horn materials used to craft the armor you get from the main boss within this secret area. It is the bull king's armor. And you also get a few other things, guys, which you do not want to miss. So the secret area we plan to get to today is called the Bishua Cave. And this all starts within chapter 5 and from the shrine of Ashen Pass 1. This is within the Woods of Amber area. So when you first come to this area guys and start progressing through it, you'll come to the Pale Axe Story, who at first you'll be fighting, but upon you kicking his ass he quickly becomes an ally to you. And he then becomes Help the main you. NPC behind his quest line. I thought you were one of them. What happened to me? So upon speaking to him and clearing out all of his dialogue, to be safe, you should now from this point reload this area, come back to where he's located, where you'll find him right here, guys, and then clear out his dialogue again. Now a lot of people like me did not do this and progressed on and passed where you'd next find him which has resulted in many players being confused about this questline believing they are locked out of it but trust me guys you can recover from this because i did so do not worry now if you did this originally reload the air and come back to this spot and cleared out all of his dialogue for a second time the next time you will see him is as follows so from the emerald hall furnace valley shrine follow the path i take on screen now now when you first come here, there's a major story boss in your way who you will have to take down first. But once you get to this point guys, you will come to see the Crimson Silver Carp boss. Now speaking to the Parallax Stall Wait for the second time will result in him being here helping you fight this carp boss. But as you can see for me, he isn't here. But again, there is a fix. So upon you defeating this carp boss, you will have more dialogue you need to get through from the Parallax Stall Wait. That's obviously if you did things right and he is here for you. But if he isn't here for you or you've progressed past this point and already taken out this boss, this is what you need to do from here because there is a fix. Here guys head back to the Ashen Pass 1 shrine within the woods of Ember. Here come to where you first found him. Here guys you should see him uh, here with multiple dialogue options for you. Make sure you clear them all out until the point of him repeating himself. Now to be safe reload this area and come back. If you did clear out all his dialogue, he will have vanished, which is where we need to be. From this point guys, head back to that silver cart bus, or where that silver cart bus was because you've already took him out. So again, from the Emerald Hall Furnace Valley Shrine, 
come back to this boss's location. Here guys, he should now be here for you. And here you need to clear out all of his dialogue until again, he is repeating himself. Okay, so now guys, you need to progress chapter 5 until you get to the Field of Fire area where you need to be at the Ashen Pass Free Shrine. From here guys, follow the path I take on screen now to another shrine called the Crawling Slope. Now if it's your first time here, ahead of you will be a giant metal ball trying its best to more or less steamroll you. Uh, but using the paths either side of it, uh, let it roll past you, run to one path, rinse repeat until you get to the very end, it's quite easy. But once you're at the other end, you'll get a cutscene which shows you how this metal ball was destroyed. Or so you may think. Now, if you've already done this, carry on to that shrine of the Crawling Slope. Okay, so from the Crawling Slope Shrine people, just a bit further on, is the Rusty Gold Cart Bus, who you do have to progress past. To be honest, it's quite easy, just try staying behind him, and it's quite a simple fight. But upon you defeating this rusty gold cart boss, you then get the flame orb, but you'll also see Pale Axe Stalwit lying on the ground. Here guys, you need to go and chat with him and clear out all his dialogue. You basically get a cinematic where he tells you to go next. And that is through that big door in the background. So triggering this door makes passage into a cave system. Here guys follow this path in till you get to this shrine type thing which will then teleport you to the secret area of Bishua Cave. Now within this cave, the first shrine you will come to is the Purge Pit. Now 
Now just right at this is a meditation point, which you obviously want to go to. But if you follow the path of the left, guys, you'll come to the first boss or the first bosses of this cave called uh, Top Takes Bottom and Bottom Takes Top. It's basically a 2v1 fight, but again, isn't too hard at all. So upon taking these out guys you now want to push on to the main cave of this boss but the next shrine along the way is a cave depth shrine. Now along the way to the boss you will encounter a lot of shielded bulls who's probably best you take out because there's a chest right here which beholds one of the bull king's iron horn materials as well as celestial ribbon. Now just a little further on from this chest, there is a bigger bull here, called the Bull Governor. Here it's probably best you take him out because when you do, you get the Bull Governor Spirit. Okay so progressing on from this point guys, you will come to a chest with more Celestial Ribbon within it. Then progressing on a little further, you come to the final shrine of this area, the Corridor of Fire and Ice. And just a little further on from this shrine is the main boss of this cave, the Bishop of Golden Eyed Beast. Who I will add, is quite a pain in the ass. Took me about 10 times uh, to beat him, but I did get there in the end. Now upon you taking him out, you get three Bull King's Iron Horns, more Celestial Ribbon, the Bishia Beast Bit used to craft the weapon, and the Basket of Fire and Water. And there you have it guys, a great little secret area full of amazing loot and again don't forget, the Bull King's Iron Horn materials are used to craft that amazing armour, the Bull King's Armour. So go ahead and do this people. Guys, if you enjoyed the video, leave a like, it really helps out. If you like what you see and want to see more, be sure to subscribe. And hopefully, guys, I will see you on that next one.